Welcome back friends. Uh, today we are going to discuss the 10 queries related to joining of MD radio diagnosis. Okay. So MD radio diagnosis, the most after most preferred seat by the toppers of any medical college is MDRD. So there are some questions very commonly asked by the people, those who are uh, planning to take MDRD, RD and BRD. I am going to answer those questions based on the experience by various radiologists. I am not taking this interview based on my experience. This is based on the discussion and opinions from the various practicing radiologists. Okay. The first question is there a saturation of this field. So luckily there is no saturation of MD RD compared to other specialties. Still there are so many vacancies available in so many scan centers, medical colleges and private sectors. You have a vacancy. So there is compared with many other specialties. Definitely MD RD is not is not getting that much saturated. But in future, after 5 to 10 years, if the seats are enormously increasing, there can be saturation of MDRD. But we cannot uh, uh, prevent or avoid taking a seat because of the future consequences. But presently, for the next 5 to 10 years, there is no saturation and it is free to join. There is a huge demand, in fact, in many cities, in second tier and third tier cities, radio diagnosis has a huge demand. Okay, So there is no saturation. First question. Second question, will artificial intelligence take up? So this is an important question, very, very much worried about the radiologist. So will artificial intelligence will take up the radio diagnosis, diagnostics? No, it can never happen. Please remember. So even in ECG, the reports comes automatically, but we cannot, we won't depend on it. We always will expect a cardiologist opinion. Same way, even if the machine is going to give artificial report by an ultrasound or a CT scan is going to give in future, Definitely, there is somebody needed to interpret it and to finalize the result. Therefore, artificial intelligence can be a supplement for the radio diagnosis, for the radio diagnosis people. For example, they may help the radiologist to conclude or to come to a conclusion based on the report, but they have to give the report. Therefore, it can be an accessory, but it cannot be the primary. Okay? Therefore, it will never take up. Okay? So the third question, scan centers dominating making us as slavery. So very important question because that is true. Many scan centers, they take the radiologist for very low pay, like 80,000 to 1 lakh for 8 hours and they utilize them like a slavery. That is true. Who asked you to join a scan center? You can start your own scan center. It is not a big investment. So scan centers will definitely utilize the radiologist for some hours, for example, 8 hours job, 12 hours job like that. The radiologists are being utilized by scan centers and the scan centers yearn in crore giving you in peanuts. So if you want to yearn, you have to have your own scan center and you have to locate an area and you have to have a marketing person who can go and do marketing for your scan center. That is a very simple, but it is little administrative skill needed. You can easily do, but definitely when you are going to join a scan center, you will be a slave there only. You will be slave only. You can earn fixed, fixed amount. They will be trusting enormous patients. You will be doing uh, 40 to 50 cases in the 6 to 8 hours and you will be having enormous hectic job and you will, you will be paid. So in the beginning period, in the initial practice time for a learning experience, you can learn in some scan centers with some seniors working there. If you have a doubt, you can get opinions from them. So you can initially you can join in some scan centers, but for long run, it will not be useful. Okay. The fourth question, how much I can earn? How much can a radiologist earn? So I'm telling you, if you are working in a scan center for a eight hours job, the scan centers give from one lakh to two lakh maximum. You can never cross two lakhs for an eight hours job in any scan center. But if you if you open a own scan center, if you do a proper marketing, if you are going to use multiple talent you have to cover the other medicos, your colleagues, definitely people are going to refer you in enormous amounts, enormous cases. So. Per day, even if you do some 40, 30 to 40 ultrasound, you just calculate 40, 40 ultrasound per day, you can easily earn 10,000. 10,000 you can earn. Then compare, you can also install a CT scan machine. You can also uh, take CT scans. CT scan is a, a much better income. And you can also uh, invest on CT scan and you can easily take out that CT scan if you have a proper referral people. Okay. So how much I can earn, I can tell you. From 2 lakhs, you can earn up to 10 lakhs also per month if you are going to be active radiologist in future. So government medical college, I want to join as an assistant professor or a professor in a government medical college. Is there vacancy available? Definitely. 
government colleges sectors have a huge vacancy for radiologist that is why government never allows radiologist and ogians to go out of the bond they always catch these guys and put them in some place so government sector there is a huge vacancy available for radiologist no doubt and private medical colleges also they also have vacancies compared with other specialties if you are a radi radiologist you can definitely uh, join government medical college or private medical college at a salary of around 1 to 1.5 lakhs you can work have a peaceful atmosphere there okay so some question medico legal issues is it there medico legal issues so compared with other specialties again why people are going for radiology in 2000 uh, before 2000 if you see the first top ranks are not taken by radiology take it are not taking radiology the first few ranks will be taking general surgery uh, og general medicine but now what happened the top rank people are taking radio diagnosis because of the safety compared with other specialties on medico legal terms so medico legally these guys are less liable less liable compared to a surgeon or a physician or an anesthetist so please remember medico legally you are more safe okay can i do a super specialty it is a must in future i'm telling you after 10 years if you want to have a long run and long show you must do a super specialty in radiology so it is going to be an organ specific in future interventional radiology has come up so interventional radiology uh, interventional radiology to neuro intervention cardiac intervention so many specialties are coming up so you might be needing to do a fellowship you might be going for a fellowship in future so is it it's a must so super specialty will be a must after finishing mdrd so please remember mdrd is again not an end specialty so it is a, it is again a first step for a super specialty you might be doing a super specialty without even asking me in future so is it an independent it's a, is it a dependent field the very important problem with radiologist even some of my friends who have taken radiology used to say is they used to scold the people they, they used to tell so the this this doctors are very worst people they refer only when we give a referral fees this is a big issue so some of them uh, radiologists who have a strict protocol protocol of not uh, giving referral fees may not get that much amount of referrals from even their own colleagues i can see at least 80% of the doctors they take up referral fees and they refer for referral fees institutes so therefore i have seen no scan center is now without referral fees all scan centers are sending referral fees so referral fees and apart from referral fees it is a hugely dependent field radiology is a hugely dependent field the patients will not by directly come to you uh, thinking you are a, or hearing you are a great radiologist it's only your own fellow colleagues have to tell that he is an excellent radiologist you must go and meet him you must do from him even if you have done some other place this fellow will find out what is exact is so you go and do here so very few surgeons less than 10% surgeons refer to a radiologist for their talent 90% of them will refer for other reasons please remember that so it is a dependent field so radiation exposure is the less spoken concept of radiology is the radiation exposure most of the people those who are planning to take md or rd they never they were never even think about this issue so you must strictly follow the protocols of radiation exposure you should take a break exactly at the ideal time because there are so many morbidity and mortality happening due to radiation exposure in long terms so you should be very serious with that you should not be so much money minded and you should not continuously work without taking a break so break is a must for a radiologist you have to take the break uh, from the radiation exposure by properly using the badges that is a must so I, but i am not seeing any radiologist taking a break all of them are working 24 hours cross 365 days it is one of the biggest issue you may not be knowing this now you might be realizing the problem after many years so please follow the protocol which are given by radiology association okay so these are the important uh, questions from for radiologist if you have any more queries you can post in this the same youtube sub, uh, in this video itself most of the radiologist i will uh, ask them to reply for your queries so follow my series and uh, subscribe this channel and utilize this videos thank you